Hi everyone, it's Kay Kaltoff. Sorry about the two minute late start here. I um, was just chatting with my daughter. She's running off to have lunch with her boyfriend and then pick up my other daughter from work. So it's kind of a busy day around here with the 4th of July weekend coming up. And I am gonna share with you something that I was really excited about sharing with you. It's a coffee card and it looks like this. So this is the card we're going to be making. And I can't believe it, but I think I left the stamp set and the framelits in maybe some other part of the house. I don't even see them around here now, but um, you can look it up in the catalog. It's called Coffee Cafe, and it's in the Stampin' Up! 2017-18 catalog. So that just shows how scattered I've been. Plus, I woke up with a headache, which is never very much fun. Um, I do also sell Young Living essential oils, and so I quickly put a couple of drops of peppermint on the back of my neck, which really, really helped. And so I had one cup of coffee because I thought, well, maybe I need a little caffeine, but probably I was just a little dehydrated. And so I've been drinking water instead of coffee for the most part. But we are going to get started here fairly quickly. I do want to tell you about a quick little sale Stampin' Up! is having. It's their one day paper pumpkin sale. And so through midnight tonight, you can order Paper Pumpkin as a new subscriber to the Paper Pumpkin program. You do have to use a promo code. And I happen to have my June Paper Pumpkin sitting here. I was planning on taking it with me this weekend when we, when we have a little bit of fun at the lake for the 4th of July. And so I was going to open it for you on camera because I thought you, for those of you that are new to Paper Pumpkin, you might be wondering what it's all about. So this will give you a great opportunity to take a look at a kit, kind of like what you might see when one comes to your door. So what I'm going to do is flip the camera down. This is always an exciting moment. And then we will uh, get started with the Paper Pumpkin Reveal for June of 2017, as well as making that really super cute coffee card. All right, so this is the Paper Pumpkin Kit. And it looks like this. And as I said again, the, the promo code, actually I don't think I did say, but there is a promo code that you need to use when you sign up for the subscription. And the sale is actually $5. I mean, seriously, $5 for a kit. And it looks, um, the promo code is one day 0717. And I just put the graphic up on my Facebook page and so you will be able to see it there. So I am going to grab my scissors here and we're going to open this up. This is just like something you would see if you were getting a kit from Stampin' Up! So I'm going to open it up and we're going to get a look at it. So here it is. And as you can see, it has um, some, some tissue over the top. And then you get, oh my goodness, this is kind of a fun one because we get two little mini stamp pads, which I love. This is Emerald MV and Melon Mambo. So the kit is kind of complete. I mean, as a starter subscriber, you will also get a clear block so that you can use the little stamp set that's also enclosed with the kit. And this particular kit is called One in a Melon. So you can imagine with summer, um, July in particular, is a big watermelon month where we, in fact, we have two of them, two watermelons right now sitting on our kitchen counter because we are going to be eating them over the 4th of July here. And so this is very cute. So in addition to an ink pad, usually it's just one, but this time we got two, um, and a great little stamp set. You can open this, continue opening this up, and you get the kit. And the front page, the front picture of the kit, you move this out of the way, will be a picture of everything that you can make with the kit. And of course, you don't have to follow the rules. You don't have to follow what Stampin' Up! recommends. But of course, if you are a little bit like me and you look at something and go, oh, I don't know what to do with this, I actually really appreciate that they have good directions because I pretty much just follow the directions and, and go along on my happy way. So we'll continue on opening this up. Like I said, I'm bringing this with me so that I can do a little stamping this weekend. And it includes embellishments, so you see you get some twine and paper kit clips in this, or actually it's little clothespins in this particular kit. Some little mini dimensionals, how cute! These look exactly like the, this is like a miniature size version of our large dimensionals, and we also have mini dimensionals now in the new catalog. So, 
see a lot of people joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate you. These are going to be three by five cards or three and a half by five inch cards and you get a lot of them so you get your card backs here oh my goodness this is going to be a fun kit i love it and then of course some little um these look like they fold out and to make little boxes to put some kind of oh something sweet for somebody you want to give to somebody in the summertime and some tags and then of course you have some stickers oh look at that cute little watermelon tissue paper and then of course these are the tags that you have here that you would do your stamping on so you have quite a few of these so that is what a kit looks like so if you are intrigued and would like to, to try paper pumpkin for um, a little you know just a little test drive it's only five dollars to subscribe and again I have the link on my Facebook page stamping to share so let's go ahead and I'll show you the card we're making. This is it. It's the Coffee Cafe card. And I do see my stamp set now and the thinlet. So I'm going to just quickly run across the room and grab them. I can't believe I didn't have those with me when I started the video. But like I said, it's been kind of a busy morning around here. So here it is. Here is, this can be purchased as a bundle, of course, and you'll save 10%. And you'll definitely want to get the framelits that go with this set. It's just fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. So let's go ahead and make this card. Now, I know that I don't do probably the most interesting cards because I don't do a lot of fancy folds and I just don't do a lot of complicated things with my Stampin' Up! cards. I really, really love simple and elegant cards. It's truly my calling. So I'm keeping with that calling and we are going to make this card when you open it up you have this really adorable um, little strip of paper here like a bunch of coffee cups have been sitting around and so we're gonna go ahead and get started the first thing that we're going to need is some garden green paper now this green may remind you of a particular coffee shop that you might even have in your town and so I thought it was kind of funny that the designer series paper picked up on that and so let's go ahead and get started here we're gonna fold this in half and I already have it scored so it's real easy to do and then we're just gonna put the inside panel in already this is a piece of whisper white paper four by five and a quarter and I have um, a three fourths by four inch strip of that sort of I don't know what you'd call that little coffee cup imprints here at the bottom and then we're just going to take some snail and we'll put that just at the top. We like to keep it nice and loose and flowing and elegant. And we'll set this on the inside of our card and that's ready to go. So now let's work with the outside panels. We're going to start with some pear pizzazz. This is four by five and a quarter and we are going to layer this up. And the paper we're using is our Coffee Break Designer Series paper. And so the original card uses these cute little dots, but I thought for the card that I make for you on Facebook Live here, I thought I would use this one with all the coffee cups and the different coffee pots and the French press. So super cute. And then of course you have your coffee beans and then all the different colors here. And this is actually a coffee plant. When we were in Hawaii on our Stampin' Up! incentive trip, we got to tour a coffee plantation. Of course, I was in seventh heaven. And my husband actually really enjoyed it, too. He likes coffee as well. So he thought it was quite interesting to see how it was all um, picked and made and created for us coffee lovers. Here's that little design I was telling you about the coffee imprints here. And then we have some more, you know, really versatile things that could be used on any card, not just coffee cards. Here's another one of the coffee plant. And then here's kind of a, an early espresso relief with all of the different coffee accessories here. And then this is a nice wood background in, in early espresso. Um, and then here we have the one that I used on the card here and then on the back we have some little hearts on a garden green background and so we are going to take this little piece which is three and three-fourths inches square and we're just going to go ahead and glue this onto this panel 
So I'm going to do that with some multi-purpose liquid glue, which is my favorite, favorite glue to use. And we are going to set this in so that our top and our two sides are even. So we'll just put this right here and press it down. Now we're going to work with some ribbon and Stampin' Up! introduced a new set of satin ribbon in this catalog and this one is Garden Green. So I'll just cut a little off. I like to do this in two steps. I know you can wrap it all the way around the card, but then sometimes my little tie over gets sort of funky looking and I've pretty much perfected the way this tie over looks. So I like to keep with something that I know is going to work every single time. So we're going to add a, another piece here that was about as long as the first piece and we're going to do our tie on. So we'll just set this in here and we'll tie it on. There we go. How cute. Perfect. So now we'll trim this one up and it looks adorable. Now we just need to make our coffee cup. So let's go ahead and do that. I am going to be stamping on a piece of Whisper White paper. And I've decided to go ahead and share the measurements. This is actually just a scrap paper, but sometimes if you're making a whole bunch of them and you just want to you know, do it in a really practical way, sometimes people like measurements for the scrap that I use. So now what I'm going to do, so I don't even know if I shared the measurements, two and three fourths by four and a quarter. Now what we're going to do again is do our stamping. And so, oh goodness, I see over on my counter across the room my coffee cup. So I will be right back and now we will stamp this. So you can see why I um, have been a little out of sorts this morning. I can't even get it hardly together to put this video out there. But I thought, goodness, I do so want to share this card because it's so cute. So what I'm going to do is stamp this coffee cup right like this at the bottom. And this is in Memento Tuxedo Black. Then I'm going to take the words, happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend, and we're going to ink that up in Garden Green. And then I would recommend that you try to keep your words to the very bottom of the cup because when you put your your little lid on the cup, you want just a little bit of room here so that the lid can overlap the top of the cup. And if you have the words too close to the top of the cup, then the lid is going to interfere with the words. So we're just going to put this on and press that down. And I think I should have probably brought that down a little further the issue was is the camera was in the way so I couldn't really see what I was doing but just know that if I did not have a camera in a way I would have stamped that a little bit closer to the bottom as I had suggested that you do. Then we're going to get the lid and we're going to stamp that again with Memento Black Ink and we're going to put this up here. It's pretty nice that this stamp set is a photopolymer stamp so that you can always see through the stamps to see exactly what you're doing. Now what we're going to do is run this through the Big Shot machine, which you'll be happy to know that I did in advance. And I used my magnetic platform for the base. Then I have my cut plate and my Whisper White paper with everything stamped. I, I centered in my thinlets over the top and then put another cut plate on and ran it through the Big Shot machine. And so this is what it comes out like. Look at that, how cute. And then here's our little lid. Just adorable. And you can see how very, very close I got to the bottom with the words because I wanted to have enough of a lip up here that I can put this lid on without interference with the words. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I am going to take a little bit of scotch tape I'm going to put it on the back of this coffee cup. You can see that I have it on here and the sticky part is to the top. So now I can take my lid and once I get that perfectly positioned onto the cup exactly where I want it, I can just put it down and press and then it's on there because the tape will hold it from the other side. And then we just need a few dimensionals. So let me grab a couple here. We're just going to 
set these in to our cup. And then we'll just take the peelies off and then we'll put this right onto the card base that we've prepared, or the card panel, I should say, that we've prepared. So we can set this in right about, right about here. So cute. Now we'll bring our card back into the picture and we'll add some multi-purpose liquid glue to the back. And you can see that we have an absolutely gorgeous, quick and simple, and very elegant card. So here is the one that I had just done, or that I just did, and here's the one I had done in advance. So thank you so much for stopping by my Fab Friday. This was my 12th Fab Friday, so I'd appreciate you being here. Thank you again so much. And if you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! order, be sure to visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com, and I have links there for you to place orders. Have a great day. Bye-bye.